welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most shocking TV deaths. For this list, we'll be looking at the most surprising, traumatizing, emotional, and unexpected deaths on television. To be clear, we won't be including animated shows, as those deserve a list of their own. Also, given that we'll be discussing character deaths, there will be plenty of spoilers ahead. If there's a TV demise you're astonished didn't make our list, stun us with your picks in the comments. Number 20. Eddie Munson, Stranger Things Stranger Things has had several surprise deaths during its run, and while Bob's heartbreaking death also had many of us in shock, we're going for a more recent one. Eddie Munson was a breakout character in the show's fourth season, with his charisma and quest for justice endearing him to many. What do you say, Henderson? Are you ready for the most metal concert in the history of the world? In the end, however, the Hawkins gang's risky plan results in Eddie's downfall. The Upside Down is not a place you want to spend a ton of time, unless you don't mind getting into it with some bats. Eddie's sacrifice to save Dustin and ensure the team's success is probably the most metal thing he's ever done. Rock on, Eddie. Rock on. Say I'm gonna look after them. Say it. I'm, I'm gonna look after them. Number 19, Derek Shepard, Grey's Anatomy. Ma'am. Ma'am, is this the home of Derek Shepard? It is. He's my husband. I'm afraid there's been an accident. Yeah, they really killed McDreamy. Dr. Derek Shepard is on his way to the airport when he witnesses a car crash. After saving multiple people, he gets back in his car and pulls out into the road when he's distracted by his phone. Unfortunately, he's struck by a truck soon after and taken to the hospital. Frustratingly, both he and Dr. Penny Blake know that he needs a CT scan, but he can't speak and she's ignored. By the time his doctors learn what he needs, Derek is brain dead and he's taken off life support. Meredith's goodbye still breaks our hearts. It's okay. Number 18. Zoe Barnes, House of Cards Zoe Barnes is an up-and-coming journalist whose relationship with the unscrupulous politician Frank Underwood helps advance her career. However, during a clandestine meeting with Underwood in a subway station, she seals her own doom. Have you thought about what we discussed? I think you're right. You should start with a clean slate. What about our text messages? To clear the air between them, Zoe deletes all evidence on her phone of their connection. She also voices her suspicions about odd details in the death of Peter Russo, whom Frank murdered, unbeknown to her. I haven't discussed this with anyone. I wanted to ask you first. I have no idea what happened that night, except that Peter started drinking again. I don't know who was or wasn't there. I wish I was. Rather than subvert her investigation, Frank simply pushes her in front of an oncoming train. With hindsight, this one became obvious, but in the moment, we're all nearly as shocked as everyone on that train platform. Number 17. Logan Roy, Succession as the patriarch of the wealthy Roy family, the prospect of Logan dying is in the back of the audience's minds from the beginning. It's in the series' title, after all. However, we still weren't prepared for when it happened. The way this all unfolds over a phone call from Tom is perhaps what makes it all so surprising. Is he okay? Who's with him? Uh, had a very serious... Ser no, serious what? It, it, it is very, very bad. It, it seems very bad. I'm so sorry to call you like this. We find out in real time what happened to Logan, exactly the way Kendall and Roman find out. Their reactions are some of the most realistic we've ever seen on TV, and it makes for a particularly harrowing experience for everyone, including the audience who feels like they're right there with the brothers. I, 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 uh, it's okay. Um, and, 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 and I love you. Number 16. Howard Hamlin, Better Call Saul 
The eponymous Saul Goodman, or Jimmy McGill, and Kim Wexler enjoy pulling schemes together, but their plan to humiliate Howard Hamlin's reputation ends in unmitigated disaster. The duo make it seem as if their smarmy yet well-meaning former boss is on drugs, ruining his reputation. Howard goes to confront them at their apartment. And my clients and peers will whisper that Howard Hamlin's a drug addict. You're right. I've worked my way through worse. Debt. Depression. My marriage falling apart. He delivers a speech, holding a mirror up to show how far they've gone, and claiming that while he'll rebound, he'll make it his mission to expose them. Tragically, he's not their only visitor. Jimmy's client, Lalo Salamanca, an unhinged cartel boss, arrives too. Howard. Howard, you need to leave. Who are you? Me? Nobody. Howard doesn't realize the danger he's in until it's too late. Lalo's unceremonious execution of Howard leaves Jimmy, Kim, and all of us at home completely shook. Number 15. Ana Lucia Cortez and Libby Smith – Lost Ana Lucia is faced with a dilemma. Her group of plane crash survivors have a prisoner from one of the mysterious island inhabitants who have kidnapped and killed many of them. However, as she tells Michael Dawson, she couldn't bring herself to kill the man. Michael has quite his own history with the others, so he offers to do it instead. They took my son right out of my hands. They took my son and... I'll do it. Give me the gun. I'll kill him. The utter shock that comes from watching Michael about face in this scene is unmatched. As if Anna Lucia's death wasn't enough of a blow, even Michael looks taken aback by how instinctively he shoots Libby. Knowing that she was really just in the wrong place at the wrong time always makes us sad. Michael. Michael. It's okay. okay. He made it, Libby. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Number 14. Matthew Crawley, Downton Abbey. This period drama has a surprising number of unexpected deaths. While Lady Sybil's death in childbirth is traumatic, it wasn't quite the most startling of them all. Matthew and Mary Crawley welcome their first child, a boy. It's a joyous occasion for the happy couple, as well as the rest of the household. You'll be my Mary always. Because mine is the true Mary. Do you ever wonder how happy you've made me? As Matthew drives back to Downton from the hospital, though, that happiness comes to an untimely end. A truck appears on the road coming the other way. Matthew swerves to avoid it and, in an insane twist, dies in the wreck. And I wonder what I've done to deserve it. I agree. But then we don't always get our just desserts. Vehicular accidents happen all the time in real life, but none of us were expecting to see Matthew meet his end behind the wheel. Number 13. Pusey, Washington – Orange is the New Black During a peaceful protest in a prison cafeteria, Pusey, Washington intervenes when things turn physical between her friend Suzanne and one of the guards, Bailey. Get her to sorry. Bailey subdues Pusey, but he does so by getting her on the ground and putting a knee on her back. Watching this scene after knowing about very real and horrific instances of police brutality ending in tragedy makes it even more unbearably disturbing than it already was. Pusey's last words are all too familiar, and even at the time of this episode's airing, viewers were up in arms and in tears over the character's unjust death. <laughs> Number 12. Lawrence Kuttner – House A promising and entertaining part of Dr. Gregory House's diagnostic medicine team, Lawrence Kuttner is a fun guy and seems to enjoy his work. But when he doesn't show up to work, House sends doctors Foreman and 13 to find out why. Upon their arrival, they find him dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. There's nothing on his calendar. His page is still here. The team and House are devastated and confused by Kuttner's death, though they don't all show it in the same way. They question why he did it and why he never reached out, and why they never noticed signs that anything was wrong. It's so out of left field, yet it also feels true to life, since not everyone is an open book. Rest, 
Number 11. Anatoly Ranskahov, Daredevil In the titular Daredevil's attempts to get to Kingpin, Wilson Fisk, he runs afoul of Anatoly and his brother Vladimir, leaders of the Russian Mafia in New York. While they're initially too proud to ask for Fisk's help, eventually Anatoly decides to accept Fisk's offer. However, he does so by interrupting Fisk's date. What is this? What we need to now? go. Now. I'm sorry. We want to tell you, my brother and I, we gratefully accept- Wesley will take care of you. Put him in a car. Anatoly discusses the incident with Fisk's right-hand man, Wesley, but is dragged out of the car by Fisk, who angrily beats the gangster repeatedly before smashing his head in with the car door. The suddenness of Fisk's attack, as well as the brutality of Anatoly's death, makes this a murder that's both surprising and hard to watch without losing our lunch. Take what's left of him and send it to his brother. It'll start a war. Number 10. Mark Green, ER Dr. Mark Green is diagnosed with inoperable brain cancer. So while his death isn't entirely unexpected, it's still a gut punch. Mark relocates to Hawaii and reconnects with his daughter Rachel. One night, he wakes up and speaks to her, encouraging her to be generous with her time, love, and life. Be generous with your time. With your love. Even though we don't know it for sure, the conversation feels somewhat like goodbye. Rachel slips a pair of headphones on her dad, playing him Israel Kamakavi Kavole's rendition of Over the Rainbow as he drifts back to sleep. Visions of himself in the empty hospital back in Chicago lull Mark into a quiet passing. It's enough to make anyone bawl. And the dreams that you dream of, dreams really do. Number 9. Will Gardner, The Good Wife The foreshadowing is there. We see Jeffrey Grant eyeing the guard's gun, we see his interpretation of the situation and the panic in his demeanor. It's unsurprising then when we cut to Diane's courtroom and gunfire is heard. What is surprising is who goes down. Did the lawyers get out? I think one ran behind the judge's bench, but there could be two others. Well, damn it, Kalinda, back off. My boss is in there. The moment happens off screen, with the camera focusing on Diane and Kalinda's reactions, and the slow discovery that Will's been shot. His fate is left very much up in the air until Kalinda finds his body at the hospital. It's a jaw dropping loss to say the least, and one that we continued to feel throughout the remainder of the show. Will's dead. There's a shooting in the courthouse and he got caught up in the crossfire. I need to speak to Alicia. Number 8. Adriana Laserva, The Sopranos Deaths are frequent on this Mafia series, but they still manage to surprise us. Adriana Laserva is the girlfriend of Christopher Moltisanti, Tony Soprano's heir apparent. However, she becomes an informant to the FBI against her will. Eventually, she confesses to Chris, hoping they can run away together. They wanted me to wear a wire, but I wouldn't do it. But, 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 but now there, there was a murder, Christopher, and they know about it. The furthest thing from her hopes transpires. Distraught at the news, Christopher reacts violently but ultimately lets her off. She's soon picked up by Silvio, however, and the pair go for a drive. It's during this drive through remote woods that Adriana gradually realizes what's in store for her. When they stop, she tries to flee but to no avail. There are a lot of mafia hits in TV shows, but this one still haunts us. Number 7. Henry Blake, M.A.S.H. Colonel Henry Blake is the first commanding officer of the M.A.S.H. unit the series follows. After acquiring enough points to receive an honorable discharge, Blake prepares to leave for home. He says his goodbyes, which are both silly and emotional. So long, Hawk. I'm afraid just a handshake won't do it, Henry. And that's it. Life appears to go on. However, during a routine operation, Radar comes in and makes an announcement. Blake's plane was shot down on his way home. No survivors. We're shot down over the Sea of Japan. It spun in. There were no survivors. 
the audience's shock was mirrored on the faces of the actors, since most of them weren't told until just before shooting. It's an older series, but this staggering reveal still hits today. MASH 4077 bids Henry Blake a reluctant and affectionate farewell. Number 6. Rita Morgan, Dexter Dexter Morgan may be a serial killer who kills serial killers, but he hopes to connect with his humanity, particularly through his bond with his wife Rita. After planning a vacation with her, he has just one last thing to do, kill the Trinity Killer. I accept nothing. Nothing is inevitable. It's already over. But Arthur Mitchell is resigned when Dexter kills him. It's already over, he says. When Dexter returns home, he gets a message from Rita saying she came back for her ID. Hey, sweetie. Uh, I'm a dope. I was in such a rush to get Harrison organized, I forgot my ID for the plane. So I'm zooming home for it. Means we'll be on a later puddle jumper, but we'll still be there waiting for you. Then Dexter hears his son crying. All at once, Arthur's words make sense. It's a brutal twist that no one saw coming, and it's traumatic for both Dexter and the audience. Number 5. Joyce Summers, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Mom! 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 A show like Buffy has plenty of shocking deaths. While Tara's untimely demise is also surprising, even her death pales in comparison to how unexpected Joyce's is. One day, Buffy comes home to find her mother dead. There's no one to blame, no supernatural cause. She suffered an aneurysm and passed away. It's straightforward and heartbreaking and manages to ground the show in a way that it often isn't. Buffy's devastation and the grief she and those around her experience feels unnervingly true to life. Joyce? They're, they're, they're coming for her. No, no, we're... Joyce! We're not supposed to move the body! In fact, the whole scene, from Buffy convincing herself that she can give her mom CPR to throwing up in a corner, is unnervingly true to life. Number 4. Rob and Catelyn Stark, Game of Thrones I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Oh, not forbade it. He said it wouldn't be right if he broke a man's jaw on our wedding night. Game of Thrones has one shocking death after the other. We've done an entire list on the subject, and although Oberyn Martell's brutal death in his duel with the Mountain also turned our stomachs, there's no beating this infamous moment. At the wedding of Rob Stark's uncle, Ed Muir, things start to feel… off. Clues start piling up until everything explodes into chaos. I haven't shown you the hospitality you deserve. My king has married, and I owe my new queen a wedding gift." Rob's wife, Talisa, and their unborn child are killed. Rob is shot by crossbows and stabbed by one of his right-hand men, Roose Bolton. His men are slaughtered wholesale. Finally, his mother, Catelyn, is killed too. The Red Wedding is one of the most shocking and traumatic events in television history, and it'll be a long time before we get over it. Number 3. Gustavo Fring, Breaking Bad What kind of man talks to the DEA? No man. No man at all. Breaking Bad is a thrilling series with shocking developments around every corner. Although Gustavo Fring killing his henchman Victor also made us leap out of our seats, the death of the man himself takes the cake. The calculating meth kingpin is locked in a battle of wills with protagonist Walter White. Walter goes to Gus's old enemy, Hector Salamanca, for help. The elderly Hector appears helpless as Gus arrives to kill him in his nursing home. Is that how you want to be remembered? Last chance to look at me, Hector. However, Hector repeatedly rings the bell on his wheelchair, revealing that Walt has strapped a bomb to it. Even the ensuing explosion doesn't appear to work on Gus at first. Then we see his face, or lack thereof. It's an astonishing end to one of television's best villains. Number 2. Tara Knowles, Sons of Anarchy Tell them I'm ready. I have to bring you in. Another no-show, it'll be dead. Nope, I want to meet with you first to make sure the deal is what they promised. This gang drama delivers some real shockers throughout. Despite how gruesome and unexpected Opie's death is, we're going with Tara's. Tara wants to leave the life her husband Jax leads to protect their boys. Jax agrees to turn himself in in exchange for her and the kids' protection. I can't protect her with that. I won't need it. Nothing will happen to her or my boys. 
She's free to take them anywhere she wants. Tragically, a series of misunderstandings and a lack of communication leads Jax's mother, Gemma, into believing that Tara sold them all out. When Tara arrives home, Gemma is waiting and attacks. The utter brutality of the moment still gets to us, and it firmly turned nearly every viewer against Gemma for good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Glenn Ree, The Walking Dead Death is a constant in The Walking Dead. Even so, fans were still unprepared for when Negan made his debut. From the last episode's cliffhanger, it seemed at least one death was inevitable here. You can breathe. You can blink. You can cry. Hell, you're all gonna be doing that. The tension is truly unbearable, especially after we know someone's been killed. We just don't know who. Finally, it's revealed that Abraham was beaten to death, and Glenn suffered a similar horrific fate. I need you to know me. So, back to it. The gratuitously graphic scene shocked not only Glenn's loved ones, but TV viewers in general. Glenn's death nearly broke the fan base and marked a major turning point for the series. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.